Once upon a time it lived far, far away. There was a man by the name of Sir Reginald, Duke of Chutney. <laughs> One day, when Reginald was on his weekly ostrich hunt, he came across a fantastic sight. <laughs> free chili? I must accept this offer of free chili. You find it now. <laughs> Reginald goes off deeper into the forest to seek out the chili. Not long after, does he come across an ugly wooden shack? Looking witch outside. I dare say, old hag. <laughs> Is this the location of the chili? Oh, uh, my name is Tabitha, and I have tricked you into coming into my house. Now you must become my husband. <laughs> uh, samosa. <laughs> I dare say, I do not like samosas, and therefore. Like not to be turned into one. Too bad, Duke Iku. You must marry me or I'll cast a spell on you. Reginald was quite afraid of the witch's revolting face and it would do anything not to marry her. Uh, you, you, you can't marry me, old witch. And why is that? Because I have a terrible disease. <laughs> I have herpes. <laughs> Very bad. You, I don't want my man to have such disgusting disease. I must dispose of you. Perhaps I will turn you into a toad, a lump of coal, a woman. Uh, give me five minutes to think of a better plan. <laughs> so patient scout, uh, here's Reginald. Exactly. Five minutes. Oh, I have it. Um, how about if I go out and search for another handsome young lad for you to <laughs> you better be here within three days or I'll hunt you down, Reginald. And he better be handsome. And while you're gone, you must give me your hair. My hair? Don't question me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so Reginald goes off to find a man. As he walks back to his village, he thinks of some, some men he could sacrifice to the witch. However, all the lads he could think of had something to offer in his village. He didn't want to get rid of them. Just then he came across a little hut. From the hut he saw a very high man, I mean a very hairy man, high up in the trees. Hello, up there! Timber! The man climbed down the tree. He was lumberjack by the name of Danny McGee. I dare say, old bean. How are you? What's the to you? Uh, um, is this your house? Yes. Yes, it is. It's very lovely. Why uh, are you asking me these questions? Uh, are you married? No. <laughs> Do you like chili? <laughs> yes. Do you like raisin bran? Yes. It's very good. Excellent. If you are, come with me, I'll uh, supply you with some. Excellent. Yes, let's go with the So the tall, hairy Danny followed Reginald all the way to Awful Scabbitha's house. <laughs> what a lovely home. Danny and Reginald open the door. Scabbitha turns around and instantly love at first sight. Danny was infatuated with Scabitha's unibrow and horny forehead. <laughs> and she in return was obsessed with scary chest. <laughs> I love her! And chicken legs. I love her. Then he takes the oh. <laughs> Reginald sees that he's not needed anymore and quietly sneaks off into the forest. Then he takes off in a 